I've just pulled in here for a bit of a break. It's been punching up the lake now. It's absolutely blowing a gale. The forecast was for uh, 25 to 40 knot winds and some of the gusts are just extraordinarily strong. So I've just pulled into a little leeway here to have a little break and get the camera set up for the first time. I'll uh, turn it around as I go right around the point so you can see what I'm pushing up against as we go along the lake again. So not too far from the camp spot. We've been making some pretty good progress actually, so I can't complain. Um, it's uh, beautiful temperature wise. The water is like a bath. It's ridiculously warm, which is probably not too good for fishing. And it's very, very stirred up. It's been a very, very windy, wild few days, the last few days with storms and so forth. So not sure how that's going to affect the fishing, but hey, we'll see how we get on. The forecast for tomorrow is nice and calm, so looking forward to that. So yeah, just having a break now and um, I'll keep going and find myself a camp spot. coming up before there was actual white caps. It was crazy windy, so it's sort of like when we get around this point, eh? Got to say, they're just absolutely stoked to be back out again. So if you don't, the water's a good day. Well, here we go again. the point into this little bay that I was looking for for my camp spot. Hopefully you can hear me above this blowing gale. It's uh, not too bad through here, it's a lot less chop. You see a lot of glassier areas on the actual waterway itself so it looks really nice. Nice little cliff face when I'm just sort of skirting along here. Ahead of me, and I'll turn the camera around as I get a bit closer, is a whole range of trees all through the water so lots of place for fish and what looks like pretty green grassy banks so it could be an absolute cracking camp spot. I'll have a look. Well this looks perfect guys. Nice and flat. It's going to get a little bit further around the corner. So you can probably see hopefully behind me here on my right hand side this lovely green grass which is lovely. It's going to get a little bit further in. The wind's dropped right off in here. It's beautiful. And uh, well worth the, uh, the slog down the lake. It took me about an hour and a half to get in. It's pretty good, I'll be honest. And the uh, headwind. Obviously, if the wind's like that tomorrow, it'll be take me about 15 minutes to get back. But um, the forecast, as I said, is for nice, calm conditions. So I'm, I'm hoping that'll be the case. So just lovely, though. Just really love this sort of place. No boats, no people. There was boys about half a k back saying no boats past this point. Too many trees in the water, too many uh, submerged um, trees and logs and so forth. Their place can get hung up and so you have the place to yourself. Just me and the birds. Perfect. Well, I've got to tell you, this is like a pretty good spot. We're just coming around the corner now, so we're out of sight. Everyone does come across the end of the lake. And I'm picking up here on this flat area up here. Looks pretty damn good. Let's just nosy ourselves in there and have a look. Well, this spot looks pretty good. Relatively flat. It's just a matter of finding a flat spot as usual for the little tent. Turn the camera around. Canoe's just down over in here. Plenty of firewood. You can maybe in front of this log here. Could be a spot. Yeah, you just can have a scared around, but how beautiful is this area? Just delightful. All to myself. Well, it's always an exciting time when you get a new tent, isn't it, guys? Got myself a big Agnes uh, Copper Spur ULV2 tent. Uh, these things are rarer than hen's teeth. They're almost impossible to get your hands on. I had to get it from the other side of Australia. Um, absolutely a brilliant tent. This is literally less than half the weight of my original tent. So it's down to about 1.2 kilograms, and physically it's about half the size. So absolutely brilliant. But the real great thing about this particular tent is the ventilation, which you'll see in a moment. 
Also got the little footprint just to protect the bottom of it. So we'll see how we go setting up the first time. Always a challenge with a new tent, but I think it's gonna be fairly straightforward. They've got a pretty good system and uh, we'll see how we get on. Well, that's the tent set up. Very, very quick. Maybe about 10 minutes for the first time. Absolutely brilliant. But let me just walk you through why I bought this tent. Have a look at this for an absolutely brilliant bit of design. You've got a veranda on a tent. That's just next level great. Very, very well thought out. Vestibule on the other side happens right up. Lots of ventilation all the way through the tent. So if it's raining, you can literally get in under here. As you can see, one-handed zip, very, very clever. And I've now got complete flow through air conditioning. So I know I'll get a breeze all the way through the tent here. Very, very clever. Nice and square through the roof. We'll get our bed gear out and we'll get it all set up. But very, very impressed with this tent, I've got to tell you. Very impressed. This tent is absolutely ridiculous. It's huge. I'm six foot four and for the first time ever I can sit up in a tent. Absolutely brilliant. Got a lovely little spot up here. Put your mobile phone, little spots for your ear phones to come through, your little cord if you want one. Absolutely brilliant. Bit of a hook up here to hang up a light. Got a lovely big uh, area here to throw all your lightweight stuff and so forth to hang it up for the night. More hanging points here. I've even seen people string up, would you believe, lights around the actual tent itself, which is a bit fancy, but yeah, absolutely sensational. But this is just the roomiest tent. Just amazing, very, very clever. Let's get it all set up. Lovely and cool in here, got the breeze coming through, but yeah, as I said, let's get it all set up. It's now 25 past five, so we're gonna run out of light, so better get into it. Cheers guys, tent's all set up. Just gonna have a quick ale and uh, organize a bit of a fire. Sun's just going down over in front of me here, so I'll turn the camera around in a moment so you can see that, but cheers. Could not be more impressed with that tent. Just sensational, just what I was looking for. It's amazing how far tents have come in the last 30 odd years. As you'll see over the next uh, few weeks, I'm just starting to upgrade all my equipment. The lighter weight, newer styles, newer... Um, materials and so forth, the reduced weight and obviously much better features on this newer gear as well so I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this beer. There's no issue getting a uh, fire going in this sort of wind. Hoping that it'll calm down a little bit because I don't want the sparks going into this long grass around me. So I'm just going to let this fire just die down a fair bit before I get cooking on it. Um, I will use the little stove, I think, because this is just going to get chipped out of control too quickly. And as I said, there's just literally dead grass all around me here. So just finish this beer off, let this cool down a little bit, get some coals out of that, put it into the little stove, and then we'll get cooking up. To, um, dinner tonight. Dinner's going to be pretty simple, just a steak, uh, put a few vegetables along to stir fry with that as well, which would be nice. I was going to have it in a wrap, but unfortunately we've got the bread, but that's all right. So it'll just be uh, meat and veggies, which would be very, very nice. But um, beautiful evening here, 
absolutely gorgeous. The wind's keeping the humidity out, which is fantastic here for the summer in Queensland, subtropical Queensland. So it's really nice just to be able to have a fire, I must admit, because um, you cannot beat that bush TV. It's just brilliant. So I'm just going to sit and enjoy this, let it calm down a little bit, and then I'll come back to you guys once I've got the little stove cooked up, set up, I should say, and uh, cooking some dinner. All right, so the theory is that if I can get this, some coals from that little fire into this, I won't have all the flames coming up and it won't get as burnt as much. So we just come up, cut up some of these little capsicum and throw them in. enough to be honest. Uh, yeah, that'll be enough. So, got a bit of steak as well. Now, chuck a bit of oil on this pan. Now, here's the theory. You get some of these coals, chuck them straight into here. Like always, we don't need a lot of heat in this little guy. Just enough to get the frying pan going. So, figuring this should do the job. Oh, it's hot already. So we'll turn him around. Take the frying pan on top. And we'll see how that goes. We'll take a couple of little ones in there just to get a bit of flame. See how that gets on. Yeah, it's perfect. A fair bit of flame in there, which is good. Get these guys in. The steak going. Yeah, a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, a bit of salt and pepper on this steak. Whoop. That'll be fine. In here as well. Alright, well the key is obviously sizzling. There's no sizzling happening at the moment. And straight away, there's the heat. Perfect. The sizzling going on. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay on the GoPro. A bit of energy, you can see it better like that. Perfect. That is working the street without all the great big fire. That's good. Check a bit of that to the side. Got the steak going. Did I just hide the salt and pepper? Well, that is working an absolute treat. Not cooking too hot, not cooking too cold, just sizzling away still. Perfect. Just how we want it. Well, the steak looks pretty good. Happy with that. Just let these uh, tomatoes and capsicum burn down a little bit. 
I'll make a nice little side. Let's get this cut up. Not bad at all. Very happy with that. Always easier to cut it up on a little table here than on your lap, so we'll do that. Imagine what a difference just a couple of little items make. A little table here is just what I needed last time. I figure when I was sitting in my chair cooking like this, particularly have a little stove, which is great. Just nice to have a little table. Just makes it so much easier. Even better if I had better quality steak. Oh, goodness. Even upgraded my cutlery, guys. Got little titanium ones. Literally about a tenth of the weight. The other ones were stainless steel. Back in the day, I actually drilled holes in them, would you believe? Just to uh, try and reduce the weight, because back then, titanium anything was costing you an absolute fortune. So, yeah. Just one of those things. Alright. Chuck these guys on as well. Gotta say, doesn't look too bad at all. Pretty happy with that. Alright, let's test this out, shall we? Hmm, not bad at all. Not too bad at all. Steak's perfectly cooked. Hmm. And the capsicum is just a little bit crunchy, which is just how I like it. Absolutely perfect. As always, I'll enjoy this and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hmm. Ah, a cup of tea is always nice at the end of the night. Beautiful clear night tonight, so I'm just going to sit back and watch the stars. I've let the main fire go out. A little big stove just going out now as well. Don't really need the heat. Once again, subtropical Queensland in the summer. Really not, don't need the heat. And there's enough stars around to entertain me, so I'll have this cup of tea. A bit of chocolate. And, um, yeah, watch the stars for a little bit until I do that. And then head back to bed, read a book for a while. And then be up nice and early and hopefully catch some bass. So anyway, as usual, I'll catch up to you guys in the morning. Just on 6.30. Just heading out for a little bit of a cast this morning. We'll see how we go. Beautiful and still this morning. Wind's all gone. Hopefully it stays that way. Just going to head out around the corner a little bit here. There's been a few boats turn up this morning. Which is fine. I'm going to go down a bit further where they're not going into. 
and have a bit of a flick around and see what we can find. I'm just going to a nice little shady spot here. A bit of a slightest breeze pushing back out towards the middle of the lake itself. So just coming amongst the trees here. It's just a little bit cooler, a bit quieter, just out of the breeze. Interesting watching the other fishermen here. These guys are pretty much semi-professional. They've all got the big fancy boats, electric motors in the front, etc. Standing up, casting into all sorts of snags and no one's catching a thing, so interesting. Well, there's fish taking something off the surface over here. They're still not having one bite. The father and son just pull up beside me down the river here, about, about oh, 100 meters away. Same issue, no bites at all. Might uh, go back and have some breakfast. We'll change lures. I'm losing a little blood worm at the moment. This looks to be the right type of tackle, but if you're taking it off the surface, it might be better for some sort of surface lure, so. But I must admit, I could really do with a coffee bat now, so. Anyway, we'll have a few more casts and see how we get on. Well, surprise, surprise. Really interesting there was actually no fish today. The, um, as I said, there's a fair few boats here this morning, so really surprised there's not a lot of um, fish around. But I did have one bite, as I said. Um, so I let the lure go right down. It, um, I got a big bite, but then he, um, before I could react, he'd, uh, he'd taken off again. So obviously just mouthed it, grabbed it, and let it go again, which was a pity. Um, so the plan is I'll have this breakfast and uh, head on up the river. So you can see the boat's going in and out of here, but there's no one really going way up that way. So I'm thinking if I'll have a bit of food and then get in the canoe and head right up in and around Snake, right up where it's really, really tight. And hopefully that's away from all the boats. And <clears throat> I'm also hoping now with the steep banks of the actual um, hills and mountains around here that it might be a lot cooler water. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'll have this breakfast and just enjoy this view. All right, just gonna head down this neck now. Camp's all but packed up, just let the tent up to dry. And we'll head down here and see if we can catch some, uh, some bass of those. Three or four boats heading down this way, right down the other end. So I'll see if we can get a bit further than they do. <clears throat> get right in amongst all the uh, trees and so forth. Let's see if we can pull something out of this uh, particular lake. It's a beautiful lake. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Still no luck. There's guys out here, as I said before, with boats and so forth. I just watched a guy coming up the lake now, the depth sounder. And um, I think now at no, five past nine, it's probably starting to get a bit too warm. The water in the water lake's quite warm. So um, <clears throat> I think probably trawling might even be the go today. But anyway, all good fun. Really great to get out here. Absolutely enjoyable. Amazing seeing those deer last night, I must admit. New tent worked out an absolute treat. Really happy with that. Cooking gear's all working beautifully, all lightweight, which is great. So really, nothing to complain about, to be honest, guys. So I think what we might do is go back and pack the tent up, and then find some deeper holes on the way back and maybe have a couple more flicks on the way back this it's getting me nowhere yeah I love it when you've got a lake to yourself all the boats are now gone just the slightest breeze just delightful really glad I purchased the canoe it um, enabled me to get out to see places that I normally wouldn't see I'll be honest never really bothered coming to lakes and so forth for camping other than at camping grounds when I was younger but this has allowed me to explore places that are just fantastic. I also spied a couple of good little camp spots around the other side here as well actually so 
that's been good as well just to see that there are, are, are other alternatives which is good so yeah really enjoying this Blowing the gale again. That should make for a tailwind all the way back. Always nice with a tailwind. Sail home, which is going to be nice. Might just pull it in this bank over here, change lures, a bit of trawling on the way back. Spoke to one fisherman who said there are fish are a bit deep at the moment, which doesn't surprise me given the warmth of the water. So we'll change lures and we'll do a bit of trolling on the way back to the car. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure what the right trolling speed is. I just will have to do it for today. Nice to have that tailwind on the way back. Unfortunately, there's a lot of boats out here today. There's probably more than 40 out here today. You've got wakeboard boats, skiing boats, fishing boats, everything. That's all right. Each to their own. Glad to see them out there being active. It's much better than sitting at home watching television. Well, that's the end of fishing for one weekend. <coughs> Unfortunately, just too many boats on the water. Big um, guys with the wakeboards on the back and the big V8 motors and the old 80 ski boats and so forth. Looks awesome fun, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, that pretty much kills the fishing in the deep water. So I'm gonna wrap it up for this week. Thanks for all for coming along for the ride again as usual. Still no bass, but that's okay. Still enjoying it. It's all about getting out, and I'm absolutely loving that part, I've got to tell you. So I will wrap it up for this week, and I'll see you on Fortnite's time. Bye for now.